Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the title VLSI Computational Architecture for the Arithmetic Cosine Transform Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of this title Nowadays the usage of discrete cosine transform is increased in this transformation the requirement of floating point arithmetic and the accumulate the round of errors we are using the proposed arithmetic cosine transform for accumulate the round of errors in floating point arithmetic this type of arithmetic cosine transforms are used so thus in this process transformation the round of errors will be accumulated and by using this type of architecture will adopted in images and video coding applications so main any applications this type of architecture will be used thus by using this type of architecture in the transformation process will increase the performance speed and reduces the power consumption then the area complexity will be reduced thus in this type of transformation process we are calculating the mean value and non mean value so this mean and non mean value calculating for floating points will increases the transformation speed so that's this type of architectures or will be used in pro, uh, many applications thus by using this type of architecture in the transformation process will increases the performance now we are going to discuss about the flow of this title in this flow we are giving the 10 point input data that is v0 to v10 as input to the null mean calculation unit and mean calculation unit we are running Uh, we are we want to calculate the uh, mean value and null mean value for the given input data so, so in this null mean calculation unit there are add and shift multiplier circuits and adder units and subtractor units so in this null mean calculation unit we are calculating the null mean value for the given input data and converting the 10 point input data into 8 point output data and corresponding to this null mean calculation unit mean calculation block also running to calculate the mean value then for the given in 10 input data the mean calculation will be calculated and uh, the output of the mean calculation block is given as input to the matrix calculation block so for this uh, matrix calculation block this 8 point output data from the null mean calculation unit is as also given input to this so finally the mat uh, matter calculation block the transformation process will be occurred then we have we are, we are obtaining the eight final transformation output so the 10 point uh, input data is given uh, to this models and we are calculating the transformation process and finally we obtain the eight final transformation outputs now we are going to discuss about the running procedure of this title so for that first we have to click to this act xilinx iac project the programming window will be opened in that programming window uh, we can see the simulation and implementation results for this product So first we have to click to this ACT. Uh, now we are going to see the simulation result for this arithmetic and cosine transform. So for that we are click to this simulation and give simulate behavioral model. The simulation window will be opened. So in the simulation window we have given the ten uh, transformation inputs P one. to p10 so we we are updating the eight data point transferred outputs that is op1 to op7 oh, finally we uh, we are given the 10 point data inputs to this ac uh, um, to perform the arithmetic and cosine transform then we are updating the eight output data that is eight transformation process so by this process we are achieving um, uh, the transformation process so P now to O P seven is the final output data for this transformation process. So finally, we are achieving the arithmetic and cosine transform. Then now we are going to see the implementation result of this arithmetic and cosine transform. For that, we are click to this implementation design. Then uh, give run to this synthesis report.
so after running this synthesis xsd then we have uh, we want to see the rtl schematic diagram for that click to this rtl view rtl schematic then give run okay and add give create schematic double click to this zoom to full this is our rtl schematic of this automatic and cosine transform then now we are going to see the technology schematic of this automatic and cosine transform architecture for that we have to click to this weave technology schematic and give run okay add new create schematic let me click to this us now we are given full zoom to this so this is our technology schematic of this act architecture 